Hey everyone, welcome back. So, tis the season of the festive eyeshadow looks. This palette is gonna come in handy for that. I've got the I Heart Revolution Turkish Delight. This is a new palette in my collection and I feel like it's perfect for this season. Look at this metallic covering, it's so nice. But yeah, I have swatched it, so I have formed an opinion on the swatches already. But yeah, if you got this palette, feel free to get it out, join on in, and yeah, I love testing out new palettes. I have no idea what colors to do. I'm thinking of going into this lemon here because this is stunning. But yeah, there's some different formulas in here um, to what I Heart Revolution normally do, so it'd be interesting to see what they're like. But yeah, if you're interested to see how my look turns out and how this palette performs, make sure you keep on watching, hit subscribe, join my Patreon, I feel like I'll leave that down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. Let's look at this palette. So this is what the exterior packaging looks like. This is quite an old palette from my Heart Revolution. But yeah, I just never got around to buying it. I did have the smaller version, but I never got the big one. So it's come in this metallic looking hard packaging. And then inside, so I have swatched it already. That's why it's not looking pristine and perfect. Um, okay, so in this palette, we do have some mattes. We have some creamy shimmers in here. And we also got these unique i would say to heart revolution they don't have a lot of these in their palettes they like these glitter shadows um not my favorite to work with because they're very hard to use i'm finding that the lemon shade and the bakal baklava don't know if i say it right these two shades are very dry glitter whereas this exquisite shade this came up quite smooth it's like it's got a base underneath so it it just swatched really nice. And also Delight is the same, that was quite dry too. So yeah, my favorite shimmer straight away swatching is the Equisite shade. So I feel like that's gonna be an easy shimmer to work with. However, I don't wanna go into that shimmer today because when I, when I opened this palette, this, this said hi to me, it, it was calling me, okay? This lemon shade, lemon shade and it is dry to the bone glitter it, don't get me wrong it looks gorgeous on the fingertip as you're doing a finger swatch but how the hell am i gonna wear this on my eye i feel like do i need glitter glue i've got glitter glue beside me just in case the next glitter glue i've got a feeling this is going to be one of those videos i'm going to try out the shade i'm not going to like it and then i'm going to end up doing another look straight after and Roadworks decides to start great. So I've just gone in with my Revolution Ultimate Eye Base and I have started off with the shade Squidgy. You're not gonna see, but I've just wanted like a transition shade just to set down that base. And this is the hard part. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Mint. And I was reading the re reviews and some people were saying that Mint is not, a, not as, as pigmented as the green shade from the smaller palette. This is very hard to swatch. Uh, I don't know how this is going to pick up on a brush. I don't know how it's going to blend. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I feel like I need a dense brush to pick up that product. So I'm going to see if this can pick it up. This is just a Unicorn Cosmetics brush. But yeah, this is a very dense shade. It, it just very hard to pick up. So I don't know how this is going to go. But I'm going to start off with using the shade in the outer corner. Already, I am having issues with the shade. It just, it's a very troublesome shade, this mint. Um, it just doesn't want to blend. It's not smooth, it's lacking the, the pigment. I, I don't know, it's a very hard shade this is. Um, so straight away, this shade I'm struggling with. Okay, I'm gonna mix two shades in together. So I'm gonna use pistachio and bizarre 
I'm gonna use Bazaar first. Green and gold always looks festive, I think. Now I'm gonna use pistachio. I don't know why I'm going in this as well, because we are gonna use that lemon shade somehow. Well, I feel like I just need a base down, so it's because it is a glitter shadow we're gonna work with. We need something just to cover the rest of the eye so there's nothing peeking through. Uh, yeah, I really like those two shades together. Thought it was a good mix. Okay, now time for this lemon shade. Hopefully you can see. It is a full on a glitter shadow. Like it's not even picking up great on my finger. Uh, God knows how that's gonna go. I'm not sure what kind of brush to use with this. I might use a, a sponge applicator brush. Apply some NYX glitter glue on the brush just one side just so the glitter's got something to stick to and this is this is not gonna be dispersed quite nice it's gonna stay in one spot i just know it so i don't think a brush i don't think that's gonna work maybe i need a fluffy brush try this this is just a, a fluffy i'm just gonna take a lot on the brush and just see what it goes like I feel like it's not reflective how I want it. Really wish it had some kind of reflex on it. It is a disappointing gl uh, glitter. It's a shame I can't get that to work. Hmm. No. Whereas the glitter that I do like, see it's getting stuck to my fingers and everything. Uh, if I try glitter glue, let me try glitter glue on the lid. Right, we're putting a bit a glitter on the lid. Let's see. Okay, it kind of works a bit. But I just wish it was spread more easily. Instead of going in one spot. Definitely put a base underneath though. It's not my favourite to use um, and I definitely need some kind of eyeliner with this look just to make it a bit better. But yeah, I'd love to know if you got this palette, how have you been working this glitter shadow because I'm finding it very dry. I just wish there was some kind of base with it just so it's a lot more smoother to apply. I mean, once it's on it is nice but i just wish it was more sparkly is this what we've got it is pretty but it's a faff it's not easy to work with i might go with something orange underneath bit random but i thought it might look nice so i'm gonna go with this gummy shade i definitely need an eyeliner of this look it just needs something pulling but yeah Okay, I am going to go in the inner corner with Delicious, what's that shade? Delicacy. Delicacy. <laughs> Couldn't get my words out then. Um, this gold. And I'm going to pop that in there. That's nice. I don't even need to wet it. It's a pretty inner corner. Shimmer. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. I am gonna go in with an eyeliner with this. I'm gonna use the Game of Thrones eyeliner. I'm just gonna use the Tasty Pumpkin Pie palette. I'm just gonna use this delectable shade. It's a matte black. And I'm just gonna trace out where I want my wing. Look how much a black can do with an eye look. Thank you. 
Okay, onto the base. I feel like we've done the hard part now. So this is the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror primer base. I'm gonna go into this. Whilst that is doing its thing on my face, I am gonna go in a new brow product that I've been trying. So this is the NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen. I've got it in the shade taupe. Still think it might be a bit too light for me. I'm gonna use some of the pink honey honey brow jam. No, wrong one. Brow glue. Uh, I'm just gonna stick them off a bit. I have used this today, but I just feel like they were looking a bit flat. Try this out. I have already tried it, so it's not first impressions, but I'm still trialing it out. So yeah, I feel like it is all right, actually. It's good if you want some more definition in your brows. Say if you use brow powder or something, that can make your brows look flat a bit. If you want something to stand out your brow hairs, I feel like a brow pen can really do that. Uh, it's good for extending the tail as well. So I have extended that tail a bit. But I feel like I could do with a shade darker now looking at it. It's good to mimic those brow strokes I'm finding with this pen. I've extended the line, it's made it sharp and yeah, I've just been enjoying this brow pen. So yeah, this is a hit for me first month. This is probably gonna go in my, what we are now, November favorites, yeah. Okay, on to base. I am gonna go in with my Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Love this. Got in the shade Neutral Sand. But first, I am gonna color correct under my eye. I keep doing this now. This is the Made by Mitchell Blush in the shade Teaching Peach. Shade Teaching Peach. And I'm just gonna put two dots on each under eye. Use is MF1 brush. Pat that in. And with this, I just feel like it adds extra coverage for when you're doing your concealer. Looks cozy now, but it will all blend in, it's fine. I did use a lip oil before. I've used the Pretty Little Thing lip oil in the shade, what is it, Cherry? Yeah. Oh, I had to answer the door. Midway blending, not good. Concealer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. A camo concealer, I've written the shade Fair Warm. Question is, what lip do I do with this? I'm gonna set that concealer now. I'm gonna use the Poundland Press Powder. I've got in shade Translucent number one. And I'm just using a Shein powder puff. So for my bronzer, I'm gonna go in this. This is the Made by Mitchell Shady Business. And I'm just gonna contour, well, bronze. So for this look, I'm thinking of going into Apricot Heart. This is Made by Mitchell Blush again. I'm just gonna do two dots there, see what that looks like. Ooh. Okay, now I'm gonna highlight. I'm gonna use the Gingy highlighter from Shrek I Heart Revolution. And I'm gonna mix that in with the Doll Beauty Like a Diamonds because I feel like this can really brighten it up. So Gingy. Go into some of that. And then like a diamond. Lovely. I just literally have no idea what kind of lip to do with this. Um, do I go with this? This is the Maybelline Taupe. Ooh, that could look nice. So this is the Maybelline Sensational. Yeah, Sensational Lip. It's in the shade Taupe. Okay, I do have this Doll Beauty. This is in the shade Run The World. It's their She Fine Lip Liners. I do you find this can be a bit dry? These, I do recommend. They feel so soft and nice. Now, I do have some new lashes to try, so I'm looking forward to these. 
These are by the brand Wild Cat Lashes. Look how nice these are. They are half lashes. Dan couldn't tell the difference between them, but one style is in Fairy, which is this one. This is style Fairy. So I'd say they're quite fluttery. And then we've got Siren, which I'd say the length of them are a tad shorter. And they're more at an angle on the outer corner. I think I might try Siren. So guys, here is the complete look using the Turkish Delight. Here's the eyes. Okay, I actually do like how this look has turned out, but I just don't like that glitter. That glitter shadow, that lemon, is not working for me. I feel like now I'm looking in the mirror, it's breaking up, it's creasing. Um, it's just not an easy glitter to work with. The easiest glitter that swatched was the Exquisite shade. That glitter ran so smoothly onto the skin. I feel like it's because it's got like a base to it or something, but these Delight Lemon Balaka are dry. So dry, very hard to work with. Uh, just very rough, it's not that smooth glitter. The mint shade that I wore today was very troublesome, but um, eventually went in the crease. It is lacking pigment. Um, However, I still like the look I came out with. It's just the the shades that I've chosen out of this palette were very difficult. I feel like the two shimmers that we used, the Bizarre and Pistachio, worked really nice. I need to play with this palette more. I reckon the neutrals in here are gonna look really nice. The Bizarre Tea and Date. Delicacy shade where it's really nice as the inner corner that is still popping. But yeah, I need more playtime with this palette because it is beautiful to look at. It is. Even though the experience wasn't that great. When playing with this palette, I do like the look I come out with. Another product that I've tried out that's new today is this NYX Lift and Snatch. I can say this is a hit straight away. I think this is really nice. It's made my brows look cleaner, sharp, extended the tail, defined them. Um, yeah, really like this product. I can recommend this. I don't know if it's got a dark shade. I feel like this shade can still work with me. These lashes from Wildcat Lashes, love them. I love the shade Siren. It's just added more definition to my eyes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be checking out these lashes out more. I did buy these in the Black Friday sale, but I'm really enjoying them first time use. So yeah, happy with these. And for the highlighters, I've been enjoying this Gingy a lot more by mixing it in with lighter highlighters. So if you did buy the Gingy and you feel like it's too dark, yeah, just mix them together, see how you feel. And I reckon you'd like it a lot more if you feel like it's too dark. That Maybelline Lip Sensational, so nice. I forget how good it is. Um, if you've not tried it, try it. I want to get a different colour. But yeah, that is my video on today's look. Using the Turkish Delight palette, I honestly thought I was going to like it a lot more. Um, so I'm a bit, mm, I don't know where my head is turning with this palette just yet because I need another time to play with it. So let me know if you want me to try this palette again. And are there any specific shades you'd like me to use out of this palette? But yeah, that's my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a tip on how to use these glitter shadows in here. I have tried the glitter glue. Um, maybe it's just a bad formula. I don't know. If you've, if you've made it work, please let me know and everyone else down below. But yeah, if you did like this video, I do appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me just like this, then hit subscribe button down below. Join my Patreon if you like. I'll leave that in the description box. We have a makeup chat going on at the minute. I'm also updating over there on products of if I'm enjoying them or not or just sharing looks over there so yeah I hope you have a lovely day now time watching this and I shall see you in the next one bye